This election is the culmination of former U.S. Vice President Joe Biden's third bid for the White House. But unlike previous attempts in 1987 and 2008, he entered the race for the Democratic nomination as the de facto frontrunner, the best known in the field. The 77 years old suffered early setbacks in the Iowa caucuses and the New Hampshire primary, but seized control of the contacts with the string of success on Super Tuesday when 40 states vote on the nomination. Mr. Biden's lower key election campaign style has contrasted with President Donald Trump's larger rallies as the Democrat has portrayed himself as more responsible on observing coronavirus measures. I think he's only a threat to himself. Although former President Barack Obama called him the best vice president America has ever had. Next vice president of the United States of America, Joe Biden. Mr. Biden's record from four decades in public office came under attack. So, who is Joe Biden and how did he get to this point in his political career? I honest to God believe I'll be the next president of the United States of America. Come on. Honest to God. Mr. Biden ran for the Democratic 2008 nomination before dropping out and joining the Obama ticket. His eight years in the Obama White House, where he frequently appeared at the president's side, has allowed Mr. Biden to lay claim too much of Mr. Obama's legacy, including passage of the Affordable Care Act, as well as the stimulus package and the reforms enacted in response to the financial crisis. Keep the faith, guys. We're going to win this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. His association with Mr. Obama, a man he frequently calls his brother, may also contribute to his enduring support among African-American voters. As a longtime Washington insider, Mr. Biden had solid foreign affairs credentials and helped balance Mr. Obama's comparative lack of executive experience. That's why today I'm announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. The so-called middle-class Joe was also brought on board to help who the blue-collar white voters who has proved a difficult group for Mr. Obama to win over. He made headlines in 2012 by saying he was absolutely comfortable with same-sex marriage, comments that were seen to undercut the president who had yet to give full-throated support for the policy. Mr. Obama ultimately did so just days after Mr. Biden. It's not my place or Donald Trump's place to declare who's won this election. That's the decision of the American people. Mr. Biden's true terms supporting the first black president followed a long political career. The six-term senator from Delaware was first elected in 1972. He ran for president in 1988 but withdrew after he admitted to plagiarizing a speech by the then leader of the British Labour Party, Neil Kinnock. His lengthy tenure in the nation's capital has given critics ample material for attacks. Early in his career, he sided with Southern segregationists in opposing Kurt Aldred schools busing to racially integrate public schools. And as chair of the Sanity Judiciary Committee in 1991, he oversaw Clarence Thomas' Supreme Court confirmation hearings and has been sharply criticized for this handling of Anita Hill's allegations that she was sexually harassed by the nominee. Mr. Biden was also a fierce advocate of a 1994 anti-crime bill that many on the left now say encourage lengthy sentences and mass incarceration. 
The record has made Mr. Obama as moderate vice president a sometimes uncomfortable fit for the modern Democratic Party. Mr. Biden's life has been dogged by personal tragedy. In 1972, shortly after he won his first Senate race, he lost his first wife, Nelia, and baby daughter, Naomi, in a car accident. He famously took the O of office for his first Senate term from the hospital room of his toddler sons, Bo and Hunter who both survived the accident. In 2015, Bo died of brain cancer at the age of 46. The younger Biden was seen as a rising star of US politics and had intended to run for Delaware State Governor in 2016. The elder Biden has credited Bo with encouraging him to run again, and during the campaign has used both tragedies to explain why healthcare, one of his signature policy goals, is personal to him. Mr. Biden garnered considerable goodwill following Bo's death, which served to highlight Mr. Biden's central strength a reputation as a kind and relatable family man. This perceived warmth is not without its pitfalls. After entering the 2020 race, he faced accusations of unwelcome physical contact during interactions with female voters, complete with uncomfortable accompanying footage. But, the Ivanka politician responded by saying he was an empathetic person, though he accepted standards has changed. The episode, however, stoked the perception for some that he was out of touch.